Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, today's video is my Hell in a Cell predictions 2021. I did not do a predictions for my WrestleMania backlash. I totally forgot to be honest, but when I'm recording this, it's on a Thursday. Now, you guys know WWE likes to put random matches together before the pay-per-view starts. Like on a SmackDown, they like to throw in one random match, right? So... If there is, I will just probably comment down below and pin it and I'll tell you what I predict. But as of now, when I'm recording, there's only five announced matches. So let's start with the first one. Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair for the women's champion, the Raw Women's Champion. This is this card is in no specific order, so I don't know what match will be first, second, third, fourth. I just put a random order. But Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley, who do I think is gonna win? And when I usually do this, I just tell you, you know, about the storyline and whatnot. So pretty much this storyline is around Nikki Cross, I guess. She's not even in the match, which makes no sense. Pretty much Nikki Cross beat both Charlotte and Rhea in like the beat the clock challenge in two minutes. Won by a count out against Charlotte on Raw. That was pretty much the whole story. Uh, Rhea Ripley laughed at Charlotte for losing to Nikki. And Charlotte Flair got the match, and that's that's your storyline heading into this. So a very terrible storyline. Um, Charlotte versus Rhea, guys. I hate to do it for some reason. If Charlotte is in a title match, always bet against her. I have Charlotte Flair winning, and yeah, I could care less about this. Second match is Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship inside hell in a cell now this storyline has been going on since wrestlemania which was april a lot of people you know oh the storyline's too long oh blah 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 but then those are the same type of people that want longer rivals so rivalry so i don't know what you want wwe gives you a long story line and then you complain this is what i don't understand just like when you guys want a new champion for example, Seth Rollins is your new universal champion. And then you turn on him two weeks and want a new champion. I don't understand. If you want something and you get it, shut up. But Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre, um, this storyline, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I just know Bobby Lashley has the ladies. And I think the storyline is if Bobby Lashley defeats Drew McIntyre, uh, Drew McIntyre can't challenge for the WWE Championship as long as Bobby is the champion. So this is going to be inside Hell in a Cell. This is going to be a physical, hard-hitting match. And I have Bobby Lashley obviously retaining and hopefully setting up Bobby versus Brock at SummerSlam. Third match on the card is Bianca Belair versus Bailey for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now this is a rematch for WrestleMania Backlash. And this storyline has been Bailey laughing. And that's pretty much it, playing mind games with Bianca Belair. That's pretty much the storyline for you. This is pretty much Bianca Belair retaining. And that's all I have. All right, we're just rolling through these. Let's go to the fourth match, Alexa Bliss versus Shayna Baszler. This storyline has been pretty much the same as Bianca versus Bailey. It's been Alexa Bliss playing mind games with Shayna and Lily. I'm pretty sure that's the doll's name. Uh, terrible storyline. I don't know what WWE. I don't know where WWE is going with Alexa Bliss's character. Um, is she the new fiend? I guess she is. I guess the fiend Bray Wyatt is done, and Alexa Bliss is winning because it's her match. And then the main event: Roman Reigns versus Rey Mysterio inside a Hell in a Cell for the Universal Championship. This storyline has been pretty much Roman Reigns beating up the Rey Mysterio family and then Rey Mysterio just says I want a title shot and he got the title shot this is gonna be a good match Rey Mysterio against a big opponent you guys know Rey Mysterio but obviously you know Roman Reigns is gonna win but that's my prediction Roman Reigns is gonna win but this is I actually for some reason I'm so looking forward to this match a lot of people wanted Roman versus Jimmy Uso but it's too early to do that They've only built towards that, that match for one month. One month. This has a lot more to go. We will see Roman versus Jimmy eventually down the line. Maybe, you know, Money in the Bank, maybe in a month from now, the next pay-per-view. 
But, you know, I understand people wanted it to be inside the Hell in a Cell because that's what Jey Uso, you know, their match, Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso, probably the match of the year last year. What a good match. Great storytelling. But, yeah, Roman Reigns versus Rey Mysterio. I have Roman Reigns winning. And that's pretty much it. And yeah, that's your Hell in a Cell uh, predictions. Once again, I have Charlotte Flair, Bobby Lashley, Bianca Belair, Alexa Bliss, Roman Reigns, all winning. And if WWE announces a random match, I will comment in the, I guess, YouTube video in the comment section. That's what I was looking for. And <laughs> I don't know why that did just it didn't register in my head for some reason or my brain. Um and yeah, that's going to do it. My excitement level, not really that high heading towards this pay-per-view. I haven't been watching wrestling actually live or at all because I've been watching the NHL playoffs. But my Bruins are eliminated now, so I could watch wrestling live again. I haven't watched wrestling in about two months. That's probably the reason why I didn't record the uh, Backlash uh, video because I did not even know it was on that week. But yeah, I'm back to watching wrestling live, so expect videos like the Samoa Joe video I just did two days ago. The WWE, you know, they're selling WWE. I did that yesterday. Now I'm releasing a lot more videos. I've been recording a video every single day in June. I don't know if you guys noticed. That's my goal is to upload 30 videos in 30 days in the month of June. I think I'm going to be doing more than that. And then July 1st marks my one year date on YouTube. I can't believe it's already been a year. Time flies. And yeah. I'll see you guys in my video tomorrow, tomorrow, Saturday. So it is wrestling GM mode, pay-per-view edition, and that will do it. And peace.